Today in the 8th of a 195 part series about world economies, we're going to talk about the economy of modern Iceland. Iceland's economy is small and subject to high volatility. In 2011, the GDP was $12 billion, but by 2018, it had increased to $27 billion. With a population of 350,000 people, this means on a per capita basis, every Icelander makes $55,000 per year. However, the financial crisis from 2007 to 2010 produced a decline in GDP and employment that has since been reversed entirely by a recovery aided by a tourism boon started in 2010. Tourism accounted for more than 10% of Iceland's GDP. Iceland has a mixed economy with a high level of free trade and government intervention. However, government consumption is less than other Nordic countries. Hydro powers the primary source of home and industrial electrical power in Iceland. In the 1990s, Iceland undertook extensive free market reforms, which initially produced strong economic growth. As a result, Iceland was rated as having one of the world's highest levels of economic freedom, as well as civil freedoms, and one of the most egalitarian countries in the world. From 2006 onward, the economy faced problems of growing inflation and current account deficits, partly in response and partly as a result of their earlier reforms. The financial system expanded rapidly before collapsing entirely in a sweeping financial crisis. Iceland had to obtain emergency funding from the IMF and a range of European countries in November 2008. Iceland occupies a land area of only 103,000 square kilometers. It has a 4,790 kilometer coastline and a 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone, extending over 758,000 square kilometers of water. About 0.7% of Iceland's surface area is arable, however, since the island's terrain is mostly mountainous and volcanic. With that, Iceland has few proven mineral resources. However, in the past, deposits of sulfur has been mined. But today, most sulfur is obtained in the refining of oil. But that plant has been closed for environmental reasons. The only natural resource conversion in Iceland is the manufacture of cement. Concrete is widely used as building material, including for all types of residential housing. But by harnessing the power of the abundant hydroelectricity and geothermal power sources, Iceland's renewable energy industry provides close to 85% of all the nation's primary energy proportionally more than any other country, with 99.9% .9 of Iceland's electricity being generated from renewables. Tourism accounted for 42% of Iceland's exports, with seafood coming at 17%, aluminum at 16%, and all others at 24%. Tourism is Iceland's largest export sector by far. Tourism accounted for more than 10% of the country's GDP in 2017. Iceland is one of the most tourism-dependent countries on Earth. The tourism sector directly employed around 26,800 people, with the total number of employees in the country being 186,900 people. Iceland became a full European Free Trade Association member in 1970 and entered into a free trade agreement with the European Community in 1973. Under the Agreement on a European Economic Area effective January 1st, 1994, there is basically free cross-border movement of capital, labor, goods, and services between Iceland and the EU countries. However, many of Iceland's political parties remained opposed to EU membership, primarily because of the Icelanders' concern about losing control over their fishing resources. Iceland also has bilateral free trade agreements with several countries outside the EEA. The most extensive of these is the Hoyvik Agreement between Iceland and the Faroe Islands. This agreement goes even further than the EEA agreement by establishing free trade in agricultural products between the nations. The currency of Iceland is the krona, issued exclusively by the Central Bank of Iceland since the bank's founding in 1961. Iceland is the smallest country to have its own currency and monetary policy. Iceland's economy has been diversifying and manufacturing and service industries since the 1990s, and new development in software production, biotechnology, and financial services were taking place. The tourism sector was always expanding, with the recent trends in ecotourism and whale watching. However, in 2008, the Icelandic economy entered a deep recession correspondence to the global financial crisis. Although Iceland's economy grew 3.3% during the last quarter of 2009, the overall contraction GDP over 2009 was 6.5%, less than the 10% originally forecasted by the IMF. So what are your thoughts? Are you from Iceland? Does the economy reflect what's happening with ordinary Icelanders? If you like this video, hit that like button, consider subscribing. I'm going to talk about every country's economy, so stick around for that. And as always, take care of your money.